G'day everyone, Jason here with a little different unboxing today. I've got a couple of birthday presents from uh, my brother and sister-in-law and uh, my nieces and I've also got one from my uncle and then uh, because I am difficult to buy for, my parents have given me some cash which I've put towards some Lego that's been sitting aside in Bucky's Gifts, Parker's news agency. So I've got the Hidden Side School set. Um, I have the City Donut set. And I have the Bat Cave with the new buildable play face. So those were the presents from my parents. And uh, Rob and Leanne down at the news agency also provided me with a scratchy. So I'll, uh, I'll scratch this and see if I'm a winner. And if I am, I'll probably stop the video here and piss off. But otherwise, I'll continue and open these presents on camera. Flying start, so it looks like number 22. So I won $25. So Rob and Leanne, I'll be down to the news agency tomorrow to buy some more Lego. Thank you. Okay, so first up we have this lovely card and present from my uncle. Birthday greetings. But not play it too much, it'll uh, breach YouTube copyright. But thank you, Uncle E. Let's crack into this. Okay, so we have city set number 60227, which is part of the NASA Mission to Mars sets. So this is the uh, inspired by the NASA Lunar Gateway. It comes with a light brick, um, but it's the uh, batteries are included. But it's a little shuttle and the little uh, space station, modular space station. So that's excellent. I don't know how he knew that I wanted this set. It's as if someone at the local news agency come toy shop maybe told him that I had stuff sitting out on the back shelf and maybe wrapped it and did a card for him. But anyway, thank you very much Uncle Lee and uh, now we'll move on to the next uh, items which are from my brother Simon, Kathy and the girls, Courtney and Chade. Okay, so... Now there's a running gag with my brother and sister-in-law and they always buy me a Funko that I would never ever collect in a million years. Um, it's almost a guaranteed way that they won't have one that's already in my collection because as you may or may not know, I collect a couple of Funkos every now and then. And obviously I'm a difficult person to purchase things for. So um, they normally get me something obscure. I've had everything from Justin Bieber to Mariah Carey in a Christmas outfit to Mitch from Baywatch. So it's your birthday. Did you know that 90% of men at your age are competent and important? The other 10% are incontinent and impotent. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, and Ethan. I forgot Ethan. So it's from Simon, Kath, Shade, Courtney and Ethan. Sorry, Ethan. Okay, so I believe the big one might be one that I might like, according to my brother, and the little one is the joke one. So we might open the big one first. The movie moment encounter on Endor. So this is with C-3PO in his chair showing all his godlike powers as Luke uh, makes him sort of go up and it looks like we've got either I think Chief Chirper maybe or is it the Medicine Man? Uh, low, low Ray or Log Ray? So uh, that's a cool little one. So it comes on a base. Uh, C-3PO sitting in the chair and uh, Ah, oh, he's holding the lightsaber, so I'll, uh, I'll crack that open out of the box in a second. So yes, that's really nice. Thank you guys. And now, the moment we're all waiting for. 
Oh my god. Yes, yeah, okay, they've outdone themselves. So, <laughs> it is Britney Spears. And she appears to have a snake. <laughs> so that is Britney Spears, number 98, Pop Rocks. Uh, certainly one that wasn't on my list of most wanted, but I appreciate the thoughts. And uh, yes, you'll, I'll have my comeuppance uh, on your 40th, Simon, and uh, Kathy, you better watch yourself too. So thank you for that, um, but I'll crack these quickly open and we'll have a look at them. So here we have the lovely Britney Spears out of the box. So she's got the microphone on. Looks like she's got printed lips. She's got the printed eyelashes on the eyes. Um, she's got the sort of studded earrings with glittery silver and purple. Um, she's got the yellow python or carpet snake of some description. Um, she's dressed in the cowboy boots with clear heels, um, some sort of thing around the back of her midriff, short shorts and the top and the hair. The, the sad thing is this pop is immaculate when it comes to paint and everything else like that. It's like why can't they do this on the ones that I do enjoy collecting? Um, and she does come with the base stand because she's got the, the small feet um, for, for her to stand up, but that is Brittany, bitch. So here we have the movie moment from uh, Endor, Encounter on Endor. So it comes on the uh, base, obviously they're bobbleheads. So we've got the Star Wars base with the sort of the log planks as if it's part of the uh, one of the Ewok tree houses. We've got C-3PO sitting in the chair. We've got his silver leg, his gold, uh, the rest of him is gold. So that's the chair just before he takes off when Luke raises him up. And then we have either the medicine, I think it is the medicine man because he's got his little bag on the side. So I think he's Logre or someone like that. Um, so he has the lightsaber in his hand. Um, so they're both fixed to the base. Um, but both of them are really good. A good paint job on both. Um, the Ewok looks amazing. Uh, his hands, the fur, the texture, the helmet. I love the little, uh, his little bones and skulls on the top because everyone forgets that Ewoks are little cannibalistic killing machines. Um, and uh, C-3PO looks, you know, really good in the shiny sort of gold with the silver leg sitting in his chair. So that's a little movie moment there as they bobble away. So again, thanks to everyone who sent me presents for my birthday. And uh, it's not often, it's the one day a year where I get to open toys that I had no sort of say in purchasing. So thank you for the wonderful gifts and I'll talk to you all later. Ooh. <sighs>